Hey guys, Mr. Dan here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue uh, our look at what's on uh, the Paramount app for those that are curious. Uh, there was a part one to this where I started looking through the horror section. So we're going to finish that um, and then we're going to take a look in some other sections and see if we can find out if uh, there are any horror movies hiding in those sections. And, uh, you know, spoiler alert, there is. There's some... Uh, films that are really kind of in the wrong section um, and then um, you'll hear me make the point that they actually don't have a sci-fi uh, title a heading that you can click on so for the sci-fi films you would have to look around and uh, the best thing to do when you're not sure is to type in the title to film in the search bar and just see if they have it okay so here we go Hello everybody, Mr. Dan here, recovering from a cold. I hope my voice doesn't sound too crazy. Continuing along, uh, here on this row we have Snow Beast versus Sea Beast. Snow Beast is a made-for-TV movie, as is The Spell. And I guess if they were CBS made-for-TV movies, not to be confused with Spell, but let's check out The Spell. I guess if they were made for... TV movies on CBS, they would be on the Paramount app, or the, possibly. That was a young Helen Hunt who stars as the younger sister of a uh, possessed girl. Tales of Terror, don't think I saw that one. The Terror, made in three days, I believe. Uh, Choice Told Tales, I just watched this in October. Uh, an anthology based on the works of uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne. Each segment stars Vincent Price. That one also starred uh, Sebastian Cabot. It was pretty good. There you have The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Now, if you guys like slasher movies and you haven't seen that, you have to see that. That's pretty good. And close to the end here, ex the, man, the Man with the X-Ray Eyes, Ray Milan. That's pretty good. That's fun. But what I here's what I wanted to show you. Let's go to Thriller. All right, let's go down here. And what do we see? Boom, Angel Heart. Now, I don't know. Maybe I think you can consider that a horror movie. And we're going to keep looking around. And um, what I've discovered is there's some uh, horror movies that are not in the horror section. Some some that are questionable, borderline. And it depends on how you classify them. But there's some definite uh, contenders that aren't in the horror section. So if you're looking for something, I would type it in the, the search bar. The Poughkeepsie tapes. They're the Poughkeepsie tapes. Uh, the Prophecy. Uh, definitely the prophecy. I mean, is that not horror? I just saw that for the first time within the past year. That was, that's a horror film. The Ruins, we were just, they were just talking, there you go. Just talking about that on the Coast to Coast stream. I haven't seen it, and now I have a chance to see it. I'm glad I looked around. Uh, My Bloody Valentine. Are you kidding me? I'm psyched to see this. I saw the remake within... A few years ago, but I haven't seen the original in a long time. And now it's, I did not know that it was on Paramount. I am really psyched to watch this again. But yeah, you have to look around or type, type a title into the search bar. Um, why am I stopping here? I had to record the audio later, so... Okay, also, there you see uh, Twisted. That was a pretty good thriller. I saw that some years ago. And there at the bottom, you see The War of the Worlds, the original, which I haven't seen in a while either. A video dead there. That would be a horror movie. Um, but yeah, there's no actual science, science fiction section. So again, the best thing to do would be to just type in a title that you're looking for. And you never know. We had a movie night planned years ago, and we got the DVD from Netflix and for a war, the original War of the Worlds, and it didn't work. We were bummed. And what am I on now? Oh, action. Yeah, let's check out action. Here you see some definite action films, but where do you see this? Where do you see what is hiding in action? Where do you see? There's The Crow. And, okay, The Devil Inside. That's probably a horror movie. Uh, the Devil and Leroy Bassett, that... I looked that up. That was that's like a strange uh, buddy road picture or something. Monster Squad. Look at that. Now what the heck? Why would why would that be in action? That would <laughs> come on now. <laughs> it 
doesn't get any more horror than an homage to the original Universal Monsters now, does it? I mean, come on, that should have been in horror. But yeah, if you haven't seen that, that is a lot of fun. Also watch the uh, the She Wind video about that, the summary of that, if you haven't. But uh, again, not to make the point over and over again. Oh, wait, what do you see what's coming up here? But Overlord, just watch that. That was really solid, man. That's uh, I believe that actor's name is Jovan Adep, I believe. It also f uh, features uh, Wyatt Russell. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, I, I, I mean, the whole thing. The World War II scenes. The way that it slowly started to change into a horror movie. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. Would like to watch that again. So that was a, that was a really good find on here. World War Z. There you have Young Gary. Korean uh, monster movie of sorts. Young Sherlock Holmes is a Ho Sherlock Holmes movie. The first film to feature uh, CGI effects, by the way. And actually, it's surprisingly dark. It doesn't, it's not the happiest film. But uh, yeah, so the point is, again, look around. 